Hi everyone! If you read the title of this video, or tried, you may be thinking, didn't she already make a video about English tongue twisters? This is one of the most frustrating sentences in the English language for learners, but today I'll show you how to master it. If nothing else, it's a good party trick. If you haven't seen my tongue twisters video yet, or you want to make sure you never miss a new video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on your notifications. In today's video, I'll be breaking down this fun English sentence, explaining what each word means, and giving you tips on how to pronounce all of those words that look so much alike. So let's jump right in. English can be weird. It can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. First of all, what does this sentence mean? Basically, you could translate it to, English can be weird, but you can understand it if you think long and hard about it. If you look at the spelling, you'll notice that there's that same combination of four little letters in all of these words, O-U-G-H, but they make four totally different sounds. And triple whammy, this sentence also features both different TH sounds and some silent letters. English pronunciation might be the bane of your existence right now, and I would not blame you. But stick with me. I'm going to walk you through it. One interesting thing about this sentence is that your mouth opens wider as you go. So we start with the most closed sound of the four and make our way to the most open, which you can see on our vowel chart right here. Picture this as your mouth, and this is where each sound comes from. Through, tough, thorough, thought. Ooh, uh, oh, ah. So let's start with the first word, through. Through. This is a common word in English, so you'll definitely need to know how to pronounce it. Luckily, it's also sometimes written T-H-R-U, like in drive through where you can get food without leaving your car. This is a much more intuitive spelling. As you might know, creating a mental image is a great memory trick. So I'm picturing a big flashing neon sign above my favorite fast food restaurant. If you can associate some movement, like flashing, and an emotion, for instance how satisfying it feels to take the first bite of a yummy burger, the memory will be even stronger. You'll also need to know which TH sound to use for this word. In this case, it's the unvoiced one, which means that you don't vibrate your vocal cords. Instead, your tongue starts in between your teeth, and you push air through them. And then your tongue slides back through your teeth into your mouth. Th, 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 through. Go ahead and try that. By the way, we have two great video hacks about how to pronounce the two TH sounds in English. I dropped the link in the video description for you. The next two words, tough, tough, and thorough, thorough are much less common in everyday vocabulary than the other three, so I won't go into too much detail about them. But if you're an advanced learner, feel free to work on these words. Try to come up with your own memory tricks like the ones I just explained. Next, thought. Thought. This is a noun, the act of thinking, but it's also the irregular past tense conjugation of the verb think. You'll probably use this one quite a bit, so it's definitely worth learning. As for the O-U-G-H sound, it's the widest open vowel, ah, almost like a yawn. Thinking takes a lot of energy, so if you thought too much, you might be tired and... <sighs> it also rhymes with bought and fought, so if you know either of those words, you could try to remember it that way. The T-H sound in this word is the same as the previous one we talked about. And last but not least, though, though. This is another word that you probably won't be able to avoid for very long since it's used pretty frequently. The trick to this one is that the second half of the word is totally silent, U-G-H or ugh, and that's probably what you're thinking about English pronunciation right now. For this one, you'll also need the voiced T-H sound, th, th. So start in the same position as the last one, with your tongue in between your teeth, but instead of pushing air through your teeth, you're going to vibrate. Though. Though. 
Now it's time to put it all together. It may take some practice, but breaking the sentence down into parts can make it easier. First, work on mastering each individual word. Then start with two word combinations. Through tough, through tough. Repeat that until you've got it down and then add the next word. Through tough, thorough, and so on. It's definitely possible to learn all of these sounds, but as you can tell, English pronunciation isn't a walk in the park. To learn more about English pronunciation and to improve your speaking skills, sign up for our Speak English with Confidence Masterclass. And if you ever forget these hacks, you can always use a pronunciation dictionary like Forvo or the International Phonetic Alphabet to help you out. Take care and I'll see you next time. If you learned something new from this video, give it a thumbs up. Then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Have a look around our channel for more hacks and tips. And if you're watching on another social media platform, like or follow our page. See you next time.